Why, hello again, Internet. I'm currently watching a replay of a match with uh, TKO Church and myself. This match is one of those things that lasts an incredibly long time, and it really had no reason to do it except campers. So, it, as you'll be able to see, they'll no, they'll be camping uh, the A1 B line or A1 and B1 for a very large portion of the map match rather um, we're not going to pay attention to this because I'm a giant buffoon and I drive around like a moron for most of the uh, beginning of the match uh, you can see Church in his T10 is going up the way the heavies are supposed to go don't know what this guy over here is doing uh, let's see here so skip forward I'm trying to spot for everybody and not get flanked by these two guys over here so let's skip forward a little bit more now see this I6 and the 110 over here they've been kinda caught out so I'm gonna do foolishly while this jackass late breaker uh, is watching me I'm gonna go over here and beat the cr supposedly beat the tar out of this guy right so I get about right here I think that's when I get no it's right after I shoot him The 41 takes out my track and damages my engine. IS-6 retracts me. And it keeps going on until basically I end up like that. I managed to get uh, out of cover, finally. Or into cover, rather. And it seems like at the time, you know, this battle isn't going too poorly for us. You know, there's no reason why it should be going this bad. Uh, also, a quick note, that FCM-50 over there is AFK. And he remains AFK the entire match. So, thank you, uh, Papa Gallium, for being a total and complete asshat. So, church doing doing work over here, getting that uh, M41 all the way down. Now here's the trick. So we start flanking real heavy, real heavily, up on the right hand side. But I notice this guitar hero esque cacophony of enemies. So give me a second or two, and I'm gonna start heading back that way. Now, obviously, I'm going to go the safe route. I'm going to go through the city. I'm not going to go through the open field because, well, it's crappy ass. Now, you'll notice that the guys that we left over here, they're going to die because they're idiots. And uh, they hung out in the open field trying to cap while the enemy clearly had at least three tanks over here in A1, A2, and B B1. So someone lit that guy, and, uh, sh who is this? Yeah, it's Late Breaker, the jackass who shot me earlier. So I'm going to fire a couple of rounds at him. Uh, I end up firing, <laughs> I, I don't know how many rounds, this was a very expensive match for both of us. Uh, I'll get into exactly what happened later. I can't remember the statistics off the top of my head as to how much damage either one of us did but I do know we did a significant amount of damage at this point and I'll show you why so SM-103 he's been a tool so I push up to engage the M-103 I got spotted by the Panther 2 which is over here uh, someone else I think it was the Comet bounced off my turret I fired the Panther 2 thinking that was him. It was not. So, Panther 2 fires, hits me. Hits me really good. I'm done to 49 HP. 
So our Sue 12254 decides it would be hoove him to run up and charge the guy point blank and you know risk the the onslaught of the guys over here. So now we lost our mod 1 and the Sue 122 for one tank. So that was great. So that was 8 to 10. All right. So we got two scouts 49 HP WZ120 myself and our T10 who is full health uh, piloted by TKO Church so this is uh, you know everyone's complaining about oh it's your fault you didn't spot oh you still uh, and being all uppity and whatnot So he's going to try and spot, and he gets pooped on. I fire around. I miss the jackass again. I, I, I have it this time. Yeah, all right, I blind fired him. He met, I think he was tracked by uh, the light tank. I'm not sure. And then, surprise, the Su-122 comes up. He knows I'm behind that rock. So he's coming up to here. I fire, and then Church with the save! <laughs> so, that saved all our bacon right there. Uh, the M103 decides it would behoove him to cap. But Church's problems right now, he's got the St. Emile to deal with. So I'm trying to help him with the St. Emile rather than attack the M103. I do think I fire at this guy to try and get his attention so he doesn't get flanking shots on church. Now, the man battle between St. Emile and church is real. Now, I need Church to be able to get into a position to fire at the 103, which he does. As long as I can keep him lit, Church can fire on him for days. And because the St. Emile or the Comet aren't doing their job at trying to spot him, he's got decent uh, fire range. The 41 for whatever reason decided it was a good idea to steal that kill and he paid for it. And so now it's just the two of us against four perfectly healthy tanks or ish. You know, the Panther 88 got messed up a little bit and the St. Emile's at half health. Most of this right now I was going to start like going after uh, and, and helping Church out but the problem is, we don't know where the other tanks are. But I feel, whatever, it's worth it, I need to go. And that's when they start capping again. And so I start heading back. Uh, I don't know what to do at this point. On the one hand, Church needs my help. On the other hand, I need to reset the cap. I can't do it by myself because we do deductive reasoning, and so that's the Jag Tiger over there. There's no way I'm going to be able to take him by myself. So, I gotta help him kind of with this comet. Now, let's see here. I see him. I know where he's going. Put auto lock so I know where exactly, like, the the horizontal axis of where he's going to be. And then I take a shot, hits him, I've left him with enough so that I know Church can kill him. Alright. It's at like 67% at this point when I decided, okay, I need to get over here. Church needs to spot. Church tells me something very pertinent about this point, though. At this point, I believe he only has two heat rounds and two HE rounds. Alright, he fires. I bounce. 
Or, I'm not sure, because, okay. At this point, he has one heat round left. I know that much. Or he has one normal round left. I fired a heat round, and I tracked him. So he fires, and it goes right under the chassis. And I think that was, like, his last normal round. But I think he managed to get... Or that was. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just know it was it was pretty close and he was out of rounds by the end of the match. So anyways, that's uh that's that battle. So So for the second part of this video, we have another match where it's TKO Church and myself and uh Newton from uh Soyez. So Soyez? Soy so whatever. So the two of us, uh, Newton and myself, are in uh, German tank destroyers, and because uh, Church was feeling very anti-Nazi that day, uh, he decided he was going to go in his fury. So he's going to go take Brad Pitt, and he's going to go up along the zero line. Luckily, we got uh, some pretty decent matchmaking, so we're we're top tier here. Um, it does look like they have one extra tier 6 than we do. I think they have five, we have four. Combat right now is the light tank taking on the T-34 and getting his ass handed to him. Now I'm going to try and shoot this leopard and totally not get the shot off in time before he ducks away. But I didn't get spotted yet because Dicker Max uh, camo value totally OP. Uh, oh, nope, I got spotted. Back up. Back my fat ass up. Alright, let's see if we can get this leopard again. This tasty, tasty leopard. No, no, he's he's gonna be a douche tool. I, I can't, I can't get him. He's, he's poking his little face out, and there's an AMX-40. Can I see his little, nope, right over the top. So we're going to play peekaboo for a second here. Now, some other stuff is going around. There's this chi he here. Tasty little chi he. How you doing, chi he? Ooh, get set on fire, chi he. Ooh, ooh, tasty chi he. Little BDR, he decides to shoot. I think. I think he tried to shoot at me, and I, I think he might have hit the chi he. The dude that was trying to help me is dead. I got an AT2 behind me, but uh, my buddy Newton, he's gonna he's gonna help me out here with that AT2. He's like, "Yo, you you shall not pass." And AT2's like, "Well, what if I want to pass?" And there's a leopard again. Say. Like, Oh, no, he tracked Newton. I have to save him. I have to save Newton. I have to do it. He probably would have lived without me, but whatever. And then he takes a shot from... I think he took a shot from the BDR. So... But our Su-8 killed the BDR, so he kills the T-34 instead. Um... Still no word, really, from Church. Church is over there, minding his own business, playing, uh... Cops and robbers, I guess. So, off he goes. Church decides, hey, you know what? You know what I should do? There's three RD around here. I should go shoot him in the face. So... Alright, so now it's 2-2. Two, two. Yo, uh, myself and Newton both have two kills. Church has none. Church is totally slacking, and we tell him so in chat. Now there's this little light tank, this leopard. This leopard that has been pestering me the entire thing. He decides he's going to get the drop on me, but no. No, leopard. Screw you. Screw you and everything you stand for. Meanwhile, Newton is getting in position. He is getting in position right around here. Now, there's three tanks left. Well, one tank and two douchebag arties. 
So, our little buddy, Church, is like, yo, I got these two arties. What I need your help with here is Newton, if you get a kill, if you get that last kill, we get BIA. Newton's like, oh, yeah, I'm on this shit. Watch this shit. I have to, I have to kind of like uh, get him ready for it though, right? You know, and this guy over here, he's gonna do it. Oh no, we missed it. Oh no. So I hit it. I hit it. Now he hits me. I'm loading up again. Back up. Hit him on the top. Now watch this. Watch this right here. That's right. I wish I had slow mo. Here it goes. Now I bet you wonder what Newton was thinking at this point. Well, I'm committed. There's no turning back now, so all I can really hope is that maybe, just maybe, I can shoot him in the ass and kill him. <laughs> he got the kill, but you have to live in order to get BIA, <laughs> so he still didn't get it. <sighs> but seriously, even the Swedish judge gave him a 10 for that one because he totally stuck the landing. <laughs>